Hey everyone, John Little here, Tech Bear running the controls. A email came in today and the, and the member was having problems or didn't know how to get the image big to print it. And let me go show you how I had envisioned everybody doing this. We'll do the uh, three magnolias, a recent lesson on the video lesson library tutorial. Now, when you first come up, you need to be logged in, one, and then you have your intro, and then all the different parts. This is a long lesson, 12 parts. And you have your resources. Now, there's a couple of different things you can do. Let's start off with this image. If you click on this image, it makes it bigger. If you right-click, sorry about that. My mouse does that. If you right click, you can do Save Image As. It will save in the downloads and it's called Final. Let me just bring that dialog box in here so you can see what I'm doing. All right. Now, that's one way to get an image. The other way, go down to Resources. Now, in the resources, you have got the color, a black and white, and an inverted black and white. Now, the individual did a right click. Save image as. This one. Now I've already got it there. That's why it has the one after. We'll go ahead and save it again. And I'm going to show you what happens. Now what I had envisioned you doing. Click to download the color traceable. So click on that. And that brings up a PDF big file. Now. What we'll do is. We'll leave this here for a moment. Okay. Now her problem was, she was saying that the image was coming up and it was a size of a postage stamp when she tried to print it. Okay, this one here, double click that, and that's the size of it. Okay. If I do the final image, I double click that, and that's how big that one is. All right. So let's take a look at this. I can say to this, I want to print this. Now this is up in my menu. I don't think I can do, can I do it here, right click, no. So up in my menu, which you can't see, I'm going to say print. And I'll bring the dialog box over for you, there it is. And that's how big it's going to make it. Now, at my particular printer, I can say scale to fit. And I can also flip it to be horizontal. Now, it's, in, it's, in, it's enlarging this 1,226%. I'm going to open that up in a PDF so you can see what it's going to look like if I printed it. Open and preview. There it is. Now, that seems a little fuzzy to me. So, let's say we got this image which was our final image from the tutorial home page, from this page. That's taking that image, all right? Let me go back to the preview. And we're going to say print this one. And again, it's small. I'm going to say scale to fit. I'm going to rotate it. It's only going to enlarge it 400%. And let's say, let's open that up in the preview so I can see what it looks like. Oh, that's considerably sharper. So we have that one versus that one. Side by side. All right. So you can see, this is a very acceptable. There's no reason you can't do that. I zoomed that out with my finger, sorry. Okay, that, that, that would work. Now, let's take it one step further. Okay, we get rid of this one, because we know we don't want that one. Let's go back to, this is an actual PDF that's designed to be printed. And look how much sharper it is. So, if you use the actual PDF file, 
which a lot of you people seem to have problems with, but we'll address that in a second here. But to go ahead, uh, look at your difference in quality. All right, so we'll minimize this one. Now, and we'll get rid of that. All right, so I have this image. Now I'm gonna say I wanna print this. And again, I'm gonna say open up preview, PDF. And it happens to do it that way, but let me just flip it around and around and around. There we go. Now let's make it a little bit bigger. And you can look at the detail. Okay? That PDF is designed to print. Now, I'm not going to save it. I'm instead going to download it and save it again. Not modified. So there it is. All right. Now, a lot of you, for whatever reason, think that needs to be a JPEG, which is an image file, or some other file. So we're going to take PDF, I'm going to do a search, PDF to PNG. PNG is higher quality than a JPEG. Now, this is a converter I've used several times. I will upload my folder. As a matter of fact, I think I can just drag it over there. This is my PDF right here. This is the one we just downloaded. All right. And it's 4 meg. And I can drop it here, they say. And there it goes. It's converting it. So this is how you can convert it to an image. Now, you, if you don't want a, a, a PNG, you can do a PDF to JPEG. J -P -E -J -P -J -P -G. And you'll have the same capability. We're going to download this. You can make a zip file out of it. I don't know why it does, but it does. Because you can do more than one image at a time. All right, so we're going to click on that. And there's the PNG. Let's open that up. And that's very big. I shouldn't get down so I can bring it to you. But it's, it's sharp. Okay, it's, it's going to give you a good image. So now you have an image file that you can print as well. So, no matter what you try to do, from our lessons, we're giving you several different ways to get to the end result. You have the image here, which is very acceptable. You go down to resources. I would personally click on this and get the PDF files. This is your best. This is going to be your highest resolution. Okay, that's going to give you the sharpest image. If, for whatever reason, you can't use a PDF, which I don't know why, but there are people that struggle with it, the same thing's going to apply with a PDF. You can resize it. You can do whatever you want in your print dialog. So let's, let's go ahead. Let's do this for a second. Let's say we're going to print it. And I'm going to use the system dialog. So here I can tell it I don't want it to make it 100%. I can scale it to something different. So I've made it to fit on this piece of paper. That's what it's designed to do. It's designed to fit that piece of paper, 8.5 by 11. Say you need it bigger. Say you need it smaller. Then you have to get into another routine, which I have another video on that, when you need to piece things together. And in that case, I think, I'd have to look if you can say some, use a PDF file of that or not. But that's another video we'd take a look at. All right, so don't right-click and save these images these little baby images these, these are very low quality images just to you know give you a sample of what you're getting when you click on them so click on them here's the black and white one which is a great way to, to you know you look at the look at her tonality that she's getting that ginger gets when she paints but it's very easy to draw this you're not going to be all confused with the colors okay and the same token, the reverse, a lot of times it's easier to see the reverse image like to get the details of the leaves and things. And these are all the same images and everything, you know, will be registered. So they all, all work the same. So I'm hoping that will help and stop some of the confusion on how to print our images from our lessons here. Now, as you know, we do a lot with Pinterest. Ginger puts everything up in the Pinterest boards. And you can find all the information up there. And again, you can download those images and do the same thing we just did here. Those will all be JPEG images. Okay? Hope this helps. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. 
and we'll see you in the next video. Sammy, take us out of here, buddy.